All right, welcome back, everyone. This is your host, Ray Hansen, and we're here live at the Asian Culture Day Pool Tournament 10 Ball action here from the pros. And we've got a fantastic match for you right now. It's the magician, Efren Reyes, and he'll be taking on the young gun from Ohio, Billy Thorpe. Should be a fantastic match. Billy Thorpe, uh, one of our most explosive young players here in the U.S. right now, played on the Moscone Cup team last year and uh, vying for a position again this year, of course. And here he is right now, breaking first. He's winning the lag. This is a race to nine, 10 ball. One, two, and three must be racked on the corners. Players are racking their own using the magic ball rack. Nice break from Billy. He's got a shot at the one ball. He's gonna try to draw this above the 10 and seven, just towards the center of the table. He's kind of going towards that side pocket, so he's gonna have to be really careful here. All right, not sure what happened uh, there, but uh, Reyes has a full view of the one ball. And he'll be looking to hide Billy. Special, specialty equipment. You know, he's bringing out his hand shoe jump cue, and he's going to jump over this three ball. And he's calling the two. Was a great attempt, but uh, Efren Reyes will have a clear shot at the one ball now with an open pocket, a chance to strike first. Thorpe uh, winning the lag and uh, has a nice opening break, but missed the one ball shot and uh, became a strategical game with Efren Reyes. And it will always be tough action. Strikes first, 1-0. Rack number two coming up. Efren Reyes will be breaking. Just to our left, we have uh, Robocop, Dennis Orcoyo, playing uh, the baby-faced killer. 
Tyler Steyer. Tyler, Tyler uh, winning a match over uh, Jeremy Jones to get uh, to play Dennis Roquillo. Here's uh, Tyler Steyer taking a look at the 9-10 uh, to win a game with uh, Dennis Roquillo on the next table. Efren Reyes getting the balls set for his break and we'll be moving back to the feature table here momentarily. Tyler Steyer here, or as I like to call him, the baby-faced killer. Great player out of uh, Wisconsin. Nice out, and uh, Efren Reyes has the balls ready to break and we'll be moving to rack number two. home and uh, Billy Thorpe will, will have a kick shot here. I believe the eight balls got him blocked for a clear view of the one. It's nice to see uh, Efren here playing uh, rotation games. Uh, he's really been uh, focusing more on his one pocket game here in the last few years and we will be seeing Efren in some one pocket action in the next couple of events at uh, both the Pro One Pocket Tournament at Buffalo's Billiards and the Big Dog Billiards Midwest Billiards and Q Expo. Those are both coming up. Uh, the Buffalo's Tournament next week and the Midwest Expo is at the end of June. So uh, look for those and uh, uh, check out Efren in some One Pocket action. small piece of the one ball that Efren was going for and he, he missed it. Uh, Billy Thorpe will have ball in hand now and a chance to tie things up. Everything's pretty much available. Looks like Efren's coming to the table again with a clear shot on the four ball. And uh, tell you what, it doesn't matter how great you play, playing Efren Reyes can be intimidating.
fantastic cue ball control from the magician and he's looking at a 2-0 lead. Efren Reyes 2-0. Billy Thorpe will be breaking a rack number three. Welcome all of you pool fans here with us uh, celebrating the Asian Culture Day Tournament here live from the Orleans Casino. I'm your host, Ray Hansen, and Billy Thorpe set to break rack number three. Here we go. It's a great break, and Billy has made the eight ball, and he's got a shot at the one. It's like a fantastic opportunity here. Uh, left himself a bank shot. Billy is one of the top bank players on the planet and should have no trouble pocketing this short bank into the corner. And he's got a nice uh, nice cue ball control off of his bank shots as well. off a little hot. Well, he'd be looking to play a safety here. He's going to roll the cue ball up behind the six. Pretty good cue ball. safety from Efren Reyes. That was a pretty amazing shot. There's taking a look, another look at it here. Two rail kick. One, two, boom. And right on top of the 10 ball. That was pretty sweet. All right, Billy Thorpe now with a kick shot on the four ball. So he's left a shot in the corner pocket. Ephraim but very close. Ephraim's looking at where the cue ball is going to come out to for the five ball straight across the table.
Great shot from Efren. Gets the five ball down as planned and uh, knocks the six ball around to come into sh position. Beautiful shot. Efren set to take rack number three now as well. Once again, the shot, the shot that got him there, the shot that started it all. This one here, this kick shot here. Two rail kick into the, into the four ball with a safe behind the ten ball. It's a pretty solid shot there. And uh, Efren Reyes, 3-0 over Billy Thorpe. Billy Thorpe will be starting off with the ball in hand here. Everything's available. Efren Reyes with a scratch on the break. Billy Thorpe needs to capitalize right here. Two ball is in a, is in a funny spot down below the five, if you notice. Billy Thor, four strokes away here from uh, getting on the board. All right, Billy Thorpe, just a couple of strokes from taking down uh, rack number four here and getting on the board. We've got special guests joining us. Here once again, the promoter of the event here, uh, Ken Shi, and welcome, Ken. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good. Thank you, Ray. How about this match? Is this pretty exciting? Yeah, I just walked up and uh, I missed that kick shot. I would really want to see. Yeah, we'll show that uh, again here in a second. The kick shot that really netted effort in the last game. There, uh, one of our hottest players here in the U.S. have 
He's having a little jitters here to start this match off with, but we're going to see Billy Thorpe settle in here. He's a he's a force to be reckoned with, one of our, one of our hot, hottest players right now. Check out the kick shot here. This netted Efren game number three. Uh, Billy hooked him behind the six ball, saw safety, and Efren kicks two rails down for a safety kick return. Wow. And uh, that ended up uh, netting him the game there. It's good stuff. You know, majority of us is just... Majority of us, when we kick at a shot, we just want to hit the ball. Efren, when he kicks it, he wants to, he knows the speed of which side of the ball, how how how, how much he's going to catch it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, uh, you know, I got to uh, I got to tip my hat uh, to you and the staff here that, uh, for the event here. Y'all have done a fantastic job uh, putting this thing together on sh short notice, and uh, it's really an honor to be a part of it. But, uh, Tell us about the, about the event here and the date. Why you know why on this date? Well, um, last year uh, a bill was passed through the Senate that was signed off by the governor Brian Sandoval of Nevada, stating on this day fourth, May eighteenth, is going to be considered an Asian Culture Day holiday, a legal Asian Culture Day holiday in the state of Nevada, and uh, what. What's so big about this is this is the first time that the United States government has legally recognized Asian culture. Mm -hmm. So this is a, yeah, this is a very big event, and we have a bunch of besides this pole tournament, we have a bunch of other events going on. And uh, mm -hmm. at the Rio, we have tonight. We actually have a opening ceremony downtown, uh, downtown under the Fremont Street, and uh, yeah, and. It, it, between 10 p.m. and midnight, we're going to celebrate the kickoff of the May 18th, coming in May 18th. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's going to, a lot of people will be down there. And, uh, we have a display, we did graphics of, uh, that's going to go on the Fremont display of all the different culture uh, yeah, it's really flags. Cool. And also the, and we had special music play, uh, playing. And then we also have some other events, uh, a show of shows in uh, or uh, at the Rio, which uh, we have different from different countries. Asian countries are coming in, and they're doing special hmm. shows to represent their country. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a good one. And then we have at SLSC, we got the Can the Can Expo, which businesses come in, and we have mm -hmm. um, we also so, have so the pool tournament here, along with all these other events. Uh, all really just came together very quickly when this when this holiday became passed. Uh, is that correct? Or? Yes, correct. So, and that was just earlier, like maybe February in, in the, uh, this year, correct? Well, uh, the other ones have been set for since la late last year, but this year uh, the pool tournament I was brought in in February, so okay. I only had a few months to be able to throw this all together. And I, you know what? At times I was sweating. I was sweating, but uh, we, we yeah. did get this through, and uh, it's it's. I'm very very happy. I mean, we got a great team with uh, Kovac Productions, and uh, we have the help with from Vivian. I mean, it's just it's great. We we have a great feel. Fant yeah, fantastic feel. Well, I think uh, you know once once players uh, see that this is you know a the um, type of event this is and the people behind it, you know, you're gonna you're gonna see. Uh, more and more support each year as this thing continues. Yes, and you know, we next year we will have a, a we'll have more time, and we're going to make it even bigger next year. Yeah, it's exciting. Well, Efren Reyes, uh, oh. right now pockets a ten, uh, but it will not count uh, he, unless he called the ten. Yeah, he'll, okay, he'll sp okay, it'll just spot up because he was calling the. Uh, well, the three ball. He's going to let Bill, Billy spot this because it's very close to the seven ball. Well, I was surprised Efren didn't call that 10. Yeah, well, that, that's one of the downsides of the call pocket is that there's no two-way shot. Oh. So you have to call one or the other. And, um, you know, of course, he, you know, the two ball, you want to continue your run. Right. But, um, you know, if he'd called the 10 and made the two and not the 10, then, it's, you know, it's hindsight now. And Ef Efren's, uh, he's got a great angle uh, to come up for the uh, six ball, but the seven is going to be a little tricky. Oh, he, he went to peel it off right there. And uh, he's going to be pretty straight in on this uh, six ball, I do believe, Ken. He, was, he put a little too much on it. 
He was trying to go, he was trying to break it off right there. falling pretty straight on the six ball and getting on the seven is going to be really tricky right now. Ken, I really appreciate you taking time. I know you're really busy uh, here at the event. I really appreciate you taking time to stop by and, uh, and share with us a little bit about the tournament. Thank you very much for having me, Ray. And again, I just want to thank my sp our sponsors, Aru's Gaming, for helping us out. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, we, we appreciate it. And I'll also uh, thank you and uh, uh, be sure and look for these videos, folks, on the uh, Thought Out Vlogs on YouTube uh, channel. They're, they're all going to be loaded up there. And we're also recording a second table, so there will be more matches than you were able to see on the live stream as well. Yes. Okay. Th thanks, Ken. Appreciate thank you, Ray. You. Five and goes up four to one now. Efren Reyes up four to one on Billy Thorpe, and we've got a special guest stopping by uh, right now with us, uh, two-time world champion and uh, national champion as well, Mary Kiniston, the first lady of pool. How you <laughs> easy, doing, Mary? Easy, easy. Hi, everybody. Oh, what a match got, this is. Oh. What a treat. Yep, the magician here. Uh, Zephyrin's uh, one of his retirement tour stops. And we're honored to uh, be here. It's kind of like the old guard versus the new guard. That is, that's it for sure. Yeah. Well, Efren's, uh, it's been a nice break here, but the four ball may have him for the one. I can't tell from this angle. Yeah, he might be able to hit it full in the face, but I don't think he could hit it enough to make it. Of course, he could not say around it and make it. I've seen him do that before. Where's the two? Two, uh, so hanging down up. here hanging, yeah. right? Yep, bottom right. Well, he might, he's either going to try to kick it in or he's going to... He could push out also. It would be another option. Yeah, but, you know, you really don't want to push out unless you have absolutely nothing uh, yeah, that's for sure. to do. Because you don't want the other guy to get to the table. Well, he's really... Uh, really studying this one. Yeah, I think he might try to mass a around it. It's an important shot. Because yeah, I think if he makes it, as long as he doesn't hook himself, he's got uh, a shot on the two. No, nope, he's going to push out. Or is he going to kick at it? See, I thought he might try to kick one rail. Okay, he did push out. Oh, he blocked the bank. Okay. Well, he's That's a good uh, shot. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, he's cut off the one rail uh, from uh, a Billy uh, mm -hmm. and not... And, and didn't leave it on the rail where it would be easier to make. Yeah, know? that's right. That's right. Yeah, it looks like it's out at least an inch, maybe two. And the one is frozen to frozen. the rail, it looks like. So that's going to be really hard. Full also. in the face. 
I'm anxious to see what Billy's going to come up with here. Well, I think that I, he was just, we'll thin the one, try to leave it by the first diamond down there, and then bring the cue ball up table. That's what I would try to do. Yeah, that's a good shot. I like it. That's exactly what he did. Well, he almost scratched. Ooh. He hit it. Uh, he needed to spin it more. Well, he's left out for a, a look here. Yeah. Um, he can see the ball full, but he can't see the right side of it. I'm looking right down the barrel pretty much here. Just look over Efren's shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, he can hit it full, but he can't, he can't cut it to the left hand pocket. He might be able to bank it back down to the he two ball. He might be doing, he might be banking it to the left side. Or just, well, he tried to spin around it and cut, oh, he scratched. Yeah, uh, got him. All right, Billy Thorpe now with ball in hand and a chance to pull within two and it's his break also if you can get out here well it'll be his break no matter what right okay one to two to the three it looks like the the key to this match is getting from the five to the six which shouldn't be that hard or maybe the eight to the ten but other than that it's pretty routine i think yeah, well, this one's no 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 bargain here either. But he's gonna just play back to the center of the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should draw it out. So he got to. Uh, he should have stayed closer to the center of the table, the mm -hmm. middle of the table. Mm -hmm. Mary, I'm gonna step away for uh, a moment and uh, turn the mic over to Jeremy Jones. Uh, he's gonna jump in here okay. with you for for a few, and I'll be right back. Thanks, Ray. Well, this is a treat. Casualty immediately. <laughs> I don't think Jeremy's awake yet. He just drove the headphone right into his forehead. Oh, <laughs> oh it closed on you. Oh, poor Jeremy. He's 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 he's, he's wounded before he even gets an action. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Jones. Hey, Mary. How you doing? And great shot there by Efren. I'm doing good. One rail up for the six? He'll probably catch two. Yeah. Just just, Maybe. just, just as a guide, yeah. 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 That's just that second rail gives you a nice guide coming down the table. And with the ten being there. With the ten if it wasn't there, right. maybe then you know might, Yeah, right. I go one rail. Yeah. Because the tables uh can, are Are they playing quick? They're fast, I think, and um Yeah, he hit that very easily. Yeah, and then get away from the yeah. rail. Yeah, well Wow. Pool balls are a little gummy, surprisingly, uh, so that's going to make the rails bounce a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You don't have quite as much spin on the ball going into the rail, so. That's strange for them being gummy here in Vegas. It's so dry. Yeah. Okay, now oh, we'll get now. to see yeah, his, we'll his see stroke, some. yeah. But there, this shot, a lot of people get fooled. They overhit it trying to pull the ball with low right where. Would you hit it with inside and go? No, no, he'll just pull this out to the center. Yeah. A little bit past center. Yeah. Great, yeah. great. And that's nice what I, I wanted people to recognize right there. You realize he didn't overhit it, the ball at all. He just hit it real clean, let the angle let move the, the ball. Do the work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'll tell you, a huge lead here yes. in alternate break for alternate sure. Alternate break is tough to come back. We were talking about that yesterday. Very doable, though, believe it or not. It's weird how well, the pool... Well, with the men, it's, it's, it's a lot... Uh, or let's put it this way. For the women, it's a little bit tougher because they don't have the the big breaks like yeah. some of the men do. Yeah. Uh, even though some of them break really well and make a ball or two. Um, well, you just kind of... Honestly, you figure you get a hair more opportunities with the lead. Right. Uh, with the ladies. Right. So, and that's just like you might take one notch below men that are playing right now and right. Be, it'd be the same thing yes. you know so right nothing against the ladies obviously but no not at all it's just tough it's a ten, ten ball is a tougher game yeah mm. 
Billy really hitting yeah, them. Yeah, see, the girls can't hit them that hard. No, and you know, and the thing is, it's not that Billy would always break that hard, but what I've found here is not a very consistent break as far as the 10 balls. So you'll see a lot of guys putting a little more on it because the, the balls that usually go in, Mary, aren't always going towards the pockets. So That's what uh, Chen Seming was doing yesterday. She was breaking well and leaving the cue ball, controlling the cue ball, but she wasn't getting a, a look at the, the at one the, yeah. or wasn't making any balls, so she started hitting them harder. Right. And she lost the cue ball. Right. Scratched once. Uh, and that's the yeah. thing, you know, especially these days, believe it or not, a lot of these players can break them really hard and really consistently, but you don't have to do it as all. Uh-oh. Okay, great shot there. You don't have to do it as often these days, so you don't stay quite as in tune with the harder break. Right. Meaning like these guys, and Billy's crushing them right now, but even usually he won't hit them that hard. It's more of a pop. Yeah, and look at Shane. Shane doesn't hit him uh, yeah. uh, with a lot of power. Well, Shane's got the best and timing. His, uh, the just timing, timing is, yeah, yeah. He's, he's unbelievable. Yeah, but, you know, he, he, he told me that he worked on it for months. Oh, yeah. You know, with his yeah. grandfather racking for him in the basement. and. Uh, oh, it's a oh, little thick, yeah. Well, he took uh, care of the three ball, so at least Efren... Oh, has, has to bank it. Yeah, he'll bank at this, I yeah. believe. Uh, yeah. you, you'll notice if he, other than hanging the, the three, uh, getting back from the three to the four, you can see where that six and eight are. Uh, could be real tough, just in case he misses it, uh, real tough for Billy to get back. Right. And Shane uh, getting back on that break. You know, that break's been around for a long time. Yes. I uh, remember it's, watching it's just in he, 1980, yeah, that ring 10 ball yeah, game. Exactly. At, uh, same balls, yeah, Same balls. Yeah, the same balls, everything, but... He just is. Uh, he just has perfected it so much. Now he doesn't need this. To get now. This oh is the oh one boy. place to That's where it does one, make yeah. it doable. Yeah. Wow. And wow. Efren knew that. He That's knew why it. he's so upset. Yeah. You would think he's upset about missing the bank, and that's not really the case. He's a little upset about that, but it, the, really leaving a, a clean shot yeah. on the three was the yeah. one that upset him. A fairly routine shot. Now he's got to dodge the side mm -hmm. pocket here because he's mm -hmm. got to straighten this out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And he did. He did. Very nice. Look it straight. And it's amazing when you're down, uh, sometimes the balls, the balls just make... will not cooperate. Well, that is just going to make it ever, ever as, as difficult as possible to get right. back on the board is yeah. what I mean. You know, kind of like... A, yeah. He had enough room where he could uh, really spin it down there. But, you know, now he's got to come back up this end, and he's got to go back that... Up, you know, he's got to go back and forth. Yeah. Which... Uh, is tough too. And I'll tell you one thing that's, uh, I don't think sad's the word, but a little unfortunate uh, for guys like Billy and a few of the others that are playing so many bar table events yes. that uh, your, your mind set a lot of time on the bar table. When the balls are tricky, you pay attention, but you know it's, that you can do a lot of things right. easily, yes. right? Yes. So, but you get in that mindset playing on the big table and it really costs you because it doesn't take much to get it out of line to where you can't run out. So. Yeah. Yeah, I talked to uh, Shane uh, a couple of tournaments ago, and he told me that he wished, because I played with his mother and his aunt. It's oh, really? my era. Oh, okay. You know? And uh, so we have that connection. You're talking and, about Van Boning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know oh, his, yeah. he had family that played. Yeah, I know he had an and, uncle and, and that and played aunt. also. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, they played in BCA, and oh, they okay. won the, the bar table championship a couple of times, you know, the two of them. But mm -hmm. anyway... So that's how I kind of got a little bit connected with Shane. But he told me, he said, that, you know, he always asked me about the old days. And he says he would love to have a tour. Oh, yeah. Like they had, in the, or even in the 80s when they just had all those tournaments. You know, he just, it's a shame for somebody that plays his speed that he has to travel halfway around the world, you know, to compete. Yeah, and, and you know, Shane, Shane got to play, a, a, you know, a lot of nice tournaments. But even the younger guys that are coming up that really should be learning they're from them. They're all the, cheated. Yeah, they're and all big time. And that's what he said, so, too. Yeah. He says he would have loved to have come up like Earl did, where Earl could learn from the likes of Siegel and Buddy and oh, Connor yeah. and, you know, all the Rempe and Hopkins. And yeah, I was fortunate enough myself to, 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 to be able to do. I caught the tail, caught end, the of, tail of end of a couple of great tours, you know, yep. so. Yep. Yeah, it's really sad. And for the women, too. You know, we used to oh, have a great tour, too. Yeah. And now it's... Uh, hit or miss and most of the tournaments are uh, over in China or well well I think it's going to come back um, I really do I think there's too much money in so. the in industry 
and I still think that the rest of the world wants to compete in the U.S. No, oh, absolutely. no matter the sport. Absolutely. No matter the sport. Absolutely. So. Yes, I agree. They love to come to uh, the United States. Sure. What happened to Efren? Do you know? It looks like they shaved his well, head that's in what that I was, spot. I was commenting to a friend of mine. He must have had some type of treatment or some, something. Yeah, some, yeah. something getting checked out there. Yeah. We would have certainly heard if there was some, some serious issue. Yeah, so. he probably just hit his head on the dresser or something. Well, you know? Oh, wow. I don't know if I've ever seen Efren hit him I, any better. I was better. just going to say, he hit him, <laughs> I, he hit him great. Remember I don't know if I've ever seen him hit him any better. I know. So. Man, that was fat. He must be practicing. <laughs> Well, on the camel wants to go out with a flourish. Yeah, well, on the camel tour, you know. Um, he was notorious for having the weak break. Well, but the ten ball, that's one of the times I learned this break is, uh, or how defined the break can be, is from Efren. He used to set it up on the camel ten ball tournaments. He would set the cue ball up on the end rail off a little bit like you might break ten ball on the bar table. And he would draw the cue ball. He would set it up in the center, and he would draw the cue ball straight up to the end rail. And he Just would straight he, back. Yeah, and he would make the same balls oh. that we all make now—the two right, balls in the sides right, yeah. and the four rails going four. Uh, we'll have to try corner, that. Oh yeah. When I get home. And I haven't seen him do it, in, you know, in going on time. 20 years, I guess. Yeah. But all right, <laughs> now he's got a slow roll. This, I think. Uh, I think. I think if he tries to draw it, thinking he might make the two. Yeah, he's got to control the control the two ball. I think mm -hmm. so. He looks like he's trying to make them both. Yeah, okay, what a great no, shot. That was a great shot. Yeah, yeah, it was off it, angle. And yeah, and uh, if the two gets away from you yeah. at all. Uh, so many people don't appreciate the little nuances of, oh, the, yeah. of uh, Efren's game. Now, see, all right, now he's still got issues because the six getting to the nine, he can't be on the bad angle of that. So he's going to bump the six. He's got to make sure he doesn't get elevated, though. Oh, okay. Oh, he didn't just leave okay. it there. Okay, yeah. he could leave it there. Now he's going to have to put another nice stroke because, again, with the 10 being here. there, right. well, with the 10 being there, you're right, he may play short side on the 6 right yeah. here. Yeah, and then just either Either for the side or, or the corner. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, he knows this is the key. Well, it's too tough a shot to try and hold on the left side of the 6, making it natural oh, yeah. to get on the yeah. 9. So. And the thing is, even if you're the greatest slow ball roller in the world, it's it's when you hit it slow, it's triple tough. Well, you don't want to do it anyways. In the old days, we never hit yeah. the ball soft because it was level. You know what it would hit on the way to well, the pocket. And the collision know? from cue ball to object ball can become very change. different. Yeah, yep. exactly. Yeah, so you Doesn't want to take hit much. it with at least a firm stroke. I was going to say, I yeah. think he's doing what oh, you he's, said. Oh, he's, he's doing something we never thought no, of. No, that's what I said. I think oh, he did. might come tr try and play short side just because uh, it's so okay. natural. I thought you meant short side on this side of the rail. No, it's too words, tough a shot to back. try and hold, yeah. yeah. And this gives him options. No, that's the beautiful thing shot. about this. It gives him options. Yeah. Ooh, caught it a hair heavy, but yeah. still good. What a treat this is to sit in the box with you. Oh. You're so knowledgeable. I, mean, I thought I you were about to say you watched begged Ray to let me stay. <laughs> no, I wanted to sit in here because I've already learned a couple of things I'm going to try when I get home. Okay, <laughs> Starting Efren, with that break. Efren looks pretty darn comfortable, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with this week, that's for sure. I think that he's been practicing because he doesn't want to go out as the tired old guy. He wants to go out with a bang. Well, and he you know, you know and we uh, all know how much he loves and hitting he loves balls play. and play, playing yeah. pool. So that's why how he learned so much right. like he did. It was just out hitting balls, just randomly hitting balls. So mm -hmm. I remember talking to him, and I've seen this in, on, in other places also. It's probably a fairly well-known story, but... But Efren, I asked Efren, you know, how he came up with these shots that are so inventive. He says, he says, I watch everybody. He says, even the people that can't play. He says, I've learned more from the people that can't play than the people that can. Oh, he yeah. says, because they'll do something that, you know, they're not intentionally trying to do it. Oh, absolutely. But something good will happen. And he says, I'll practice it until I own it. No, for sure. Yeah. And that, I've said that about recreational uh, players is what you Mary's referring to like people that don't even aren't even trying to play good pool or even better pool but I'll watch them and and you'll see s something happen and I don't know how many times I'll say oh that's a one pocket <laughs> shot right. that's a one pocket right. shot that's one right pocket or you've shot. been in that position you didn't know what to do and right right yeah yeah that's what's great about this game you can learn uh, well that's that round I love to watch it that round object thing you yes know, round <laughs> objects uh, do a lot of crazy things so Yes, they do. I think he's being aggressive here as yeah, well. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, 
He's using outside English. Okay. Oh. Okay, wow. he left it tough, though. Yes, I don't even know if he can get at it. I think he can. If he can get at it, he needs to attack here. I don't you think, think there's going to... think he gonna... can hit it? Yeah, and I think it's about where he can make it um, only. So... Well, yeah. Don't baby it. Yeah, you're right. Boy, you overcut yeah, it. Yeah, he overcut wow, it. So he could have made that. <clears throat> but he got fortunate. Yeah, real fortunate. Uh, Efren's going to have to... He's got an easy kick shot if he's got the path. Now, if he's got a mass say, it becomes much tougher. Meaning the, if then he could kick to the side rail and bank the one to the end rail in between the five two mm -hmm. and lay it on the other side rail. But if he's got a mass say it, now everything changes. Right. Oh, he's oh, mass he's, saying he's it. He's trying to make it in the corner. Yeah. And that's why, because that kick isn't so, oh, he's mass saying it, mass saying it, just cutting yeah. it in. Wow. And this will, watch this shot. Overcut it too. Yeah, but he wow. he knew he was trying to play a two way. Yeah. Probably the greatest Mass A player, as far as a pool player that's ever lived, as far as Efren Reyes, I would have to say. Well, he's the only one that I have seen. Uh, in, in when I was young, the greats played straight pool. Let's say it again. When I was young, the greats played straight pool. Right, right, right. So, you know, I started in the mid seventies. Mm -hmm. So, except for uh, guys at the pool room and. Uh, you know, I never saw a nine ball. Mm -hmm. you know, or, or we used to play Chicago, and that's what we called 15 ball rotation. And, and the partners were one and five, and then you had yeah, yeah, money exactly. balls. Yeah. And he'd play so much at ball. And uh, but that's the only exposure I had to rotation. So the old timers, when I saw them play, they played straight. And sure. even the young guys like Siegel and Hopkins played oh, yeah. straight pool. Oh yeah. That was what everybody played. All right, he's going cross corner with this. Okay, nice shot. And you'll notice he hit it a little heavy into the pocket. Why, that's why that's that great stroke that, that got the ball off. Yeah. Well, no, I wouldn't say intentional, but I was just going to comment that it, the ball didn't even hesitate on going in because of how good the stroke was, right. the follow-through. Okay. The follow-through really opens that pocket up. Uh, when you hit a little crudely, the ball wants to kind of keep going mm -hmm. instead of just having that jar effect. Right. So. And that's a huge difference too, even with players at my level uh, and Efren's level. I mean, his stroke, he just knows so many things he can do with it. Oh, yeah. Things that, that don't even enter. Oh, I don't know if that got no, there or not. Hook himself? Yeah. Uh. And that's twice on that coming across the table shot. One time on uh, going from the three to the four, right when I got right, in the booth. Right. Uh, that he just underhit just a little bit. And it's not so, it may not have been the underhit even. He could have overcut the ball maybe a hair, which made the ball come across a little thinner on a little thinner angle. Mm -hmm. We've got some great matches going on. Justin Bergman playing Ronnie Alcano, Tyler Steyer playing Dennis Arcullo. And who's Roberto playing? Roberto's playing Tommy Tokov. Oh, Tommy Tokov, yeah. Tommy's played, starting to, to play pretty uh, oh, he's good steady. the past, he's steady, past yeah. year. Yeah. And uh, yeah. all Tommy still needs is a little bit of that uh, that pressure knowledge, meaning when the pressure's on, keep the, right. keep everything a little simple, right. you know, stuff like right. that. Yeah. Okay, I don't know, unless it gets really on top of it. Mm. Mm. Giving no. up a nice shot here. Yeah. Boy, Billy leaped out of his chair. He's ready. So you just slide over and shoot the four in the same corner? Or I, it, yeah. Uh, oof, a little heavy there. Now that's going to yeah. cause a problem. Well, that's he's what I have was going to gonna say. You'd have to hit it perfect. He's going to have to let a stroke out here to bounce to the rail and back out. Yeah. Luckily, the six is real handy, meaning after he gets on this five, all he really Boy, needs to do is... Nice. Yeah. Yeah, being with the six where it is, it makes the five a lot easier. Right. You don't now have to worry so much about shape. Yeah, that position on the four would have been a lot worse, say the six was down here on the end rail where he really needed to get nice on that five. So, right. Right. And that's what I meant about the bar table kind of stuff. You get in that bar table mode, you feel like you can get anywhere right. from anything. Shots right. are easy. Yeah. This big table, you really need to pay attention. It makes you work. Yeah. yeah. And that was what I was saying before. It's such a shame that there are so many really good, young, great American players now that just need uh, 
to get to that superstar level. But they, but they don't get to play with each other enough, yeah. you know, right. like in the right. old days, you know, and to be tournament tough. You know, there's a big difference between tournament action and, and, and uh, money action. Oh, for sure. And yeah. the pressure's different. Pressure, everything's different. Everything's different. Yeah, well, so these guys... Uh, shame. You know, these guys like Billy and Sky, and, of course, Justin we know about. has been right. a great player since he was 18, like probably. Oscar <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but uh, those guys are going to get there anyway. I think it's really the next wave that's really missing out. Uh, ooh, man. I was wondering why yeah. didn't he just play for the corner? Maybe I think that's the stretch what, got him. Yeah, he really got funny here now. Really funny. Oh yeah, that's what I say. He got really, really funny here, boy, ladies and gentlemen. Angry. But I was saying, I think it's really the next wave of players that are missing out. Like, the, the, the top ones are going to get there no matter what, whether it takes them a little longer. But I think there's another 10 or 12, 15 guys. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that one wasn't sitting well. Like, like you might say, like uh, Chris Robinson's and Tyler Styers right. and guys like Those that kids, that, yeah. that would be at these events if we had more of them and right. be, you know, excelling through the roof, right. really. Yeah. Because they're all super talented. Yes, they are. It looks to me, we're, we'll try to get you some scores. Uh, looks to me, Dennis has got his hands full over here against Tyler. Tyler played pretty well against me on the winter side yesterday, beating me. He took a little off the break, which I thought was going to bode well for him. I think whenever he played me, he was overhitting him a little bit. But I want to see if Efren breaks him like he did last yes, time. Yes, that's what I was just going to say. <laughs> that's the best break I've ever seen him do. Uh, so let's see. What is Efren us? Uh, Seven to two now. No, I know, but uh, the age. Uh, oh, he's uh, six, either 63 or just turned 64. 64 yeah, he's, he's a year behind me, yeah. and I'm going to be 65 in August. Wow. I would have never guessed that, Mary. <laughs> Pushing Medicare. <laughs> <laughs> is that Obama. A, is that a who? <laughs> Pushing Medicare. Oh, man. Okay, pretty good. He got the one on the path he wants. He's going to yeah. need a kiss on a oh, cue ball. Yeah, he got it. But uh, I think the eights. Uh, the eight might have him. Yeah, it looks like it. If it doesn't, he's got a nice shot uh, to come back towards the five with that cue ball. But He had a good chance of getting a good shot on the one, too, because the one was just drifting slowly down there, and then it got kicked twice by, right. uh, by other balls. And Okay, well, he can be see this because he's definitely not kicking at this one, trying to come back. Yeah. It's not sitting nice for that. Yeah. That's got to go a little bit. Perfect. Whoa, oh, oh wow, it went out. too long. Leaked out. Mm. And he was playing, I think, to go into the five. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, a little reference, a little cushion. Yeah, and, he, and that gets him real close to the eight, uh, meaning as far as making the jump a lot tougher. Yeah. And, Tough you know, look shot at this. here after uh, yeah. yeah, you're down seven to two now. And you got to roll this in <laughs> after missing an easy shot, making oh. an easy mistake in the last game. Right. Okay, Everyone probably want to move that rack right here. Yeah, he's going to move it. I don't take any time on moving that rack. And the, te I, the, the template's okay by me, but it's cost me a few times, meaning with the ball rolling. Uh, oh, yeah, you got to make yeah, sure that, yeah. uh, I mean, when, when I, I don't play tournaments anymore, but when I'm playing at home with people, you know, one, whoever's not, whoever just. Uh, oh, he hooked himself. He was trying to go into the, edge. oh, he's having tr pr trouble drawing the ball. I thought yeah. he was trying to go into the edge of the four. But that's what we do. One of us stays down there after the break to snatch the tempo. Oh, up. right, right. Uh, you know, of course, nobody's going to do that for you in a tournament. All right, but, I don't uh, think Efren called anything, but he should have the best of it on the kick shot here, that's for sure. Well, he's got a wall of balls to hide behind, but I think he, he I left th him a he piece. Left, left him a peek again. This would be a time for me to take a time out if I'm, uh, of course, sometimes I like getting the game under my belt before I, if when I'm trailing, mm -hmm. uh, to take the time out, but I think Billy needs to regroup. Yeah. Because it's not like he's playing bad. It's just been a like that misposition on the nine right there, you know. Yeah. And the chances that he has had, you know, it's always tough. Oh, yeah. You know, like this. This is not a, not easy. Great shot. Boy, he wiggled it in. All right. Great shot there. Well, what do but, you think? This is probably the key ball, isn't it? Yeah, he's just going to go straight up five. and down, yeah. And he has to control that speed. 
you know, and we won't talk about the, the misfortune of these guys not having a tour, but like Billy's playing, just for instance, Billy's playing Effin right now, right? Mm -hmm. And he's here to win and, and whatnot, but he knows it's a treat, right? Oh, absolutely. Well, how would you like to have that every match? Right. You know right. what I mean? You're yeah. playing Nick Varners and you're playing right. Earl right. Strickland. And Earls and, the, and think how much you can yeah. learn and, and, yeah. just, and just have the privilege of playing them, you know? Yeah. And it takes heart to beat those guys, too, and not saying that that's right. you're, you have to be born with it. You can develop heart. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Right. That's exactly right. And heart can be illusory, too. Oh, you know, yeah. Sometimes you have it and sometimes you don't. Sure. And uh, No, no, that's what makes us human, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And he's being real careful. Yeah, like if it was his break, which I think it is next, I, w I think it's a good time to take the time out. Seven to three. Go regroup. Mm -hmm. You would like to think, oh, well, I'd like it to be get a little closer before I take my time out or towards it. Well, guess what? That might not happen. Might not happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that little look on Billy's face yeah, right there. Yeah, he's determined. Yeah, and that told me that he feels like he's playing good. It's just been a couple of mistakes. He you just know, can't so. get going. Yeah. Yeah, he knows he's not out of it. It's going to be tough because he's playing Efren. But, but look at what Melling did. Look what Melling did to uh, uh, John Moore at Derby City. Oh, yeah. And he left John on the hill. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was left for dead and came back and beat him. No, I was sweating it. It yeah. was pretty, pretty crazy. And yeah, Dennis Ocullo in a tough one with Tyler Starr on the next table, tied at four games apiece. I was talking to Tyler. He's a super talented uh, kid. Super talented kid, and he's a big proponent of Stan Shuffle's CTE Pro One aiming uh, system. Okay. Yeah, and uh, as I was talking to, it's really fascinating. Uh, I wish I would have known it years ago, because you know I had all my own little systems for making each ball, and you know right. now it's just so easy. Yeah. Know? But well, anyway, he's a big I'm proponent of that, and <coughs> I think uh, uh, we'll see a lot of him. And he just moved here to Vegas also. Did he really? Yeah, oh, he's okay, been here a uh, few months. And, uh, well, he's in a good spot then. Yeah. That's weird. I've never been one on the systems for aiming. Um, well, it just, it, it, you know, I used to, I knew they had, when I was uh, coming up, I knew there had to be some kind of system to aim with because... And it had to be fairly simple because I know a lot of really great players that are not geniuses. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and I know you do too. Yeah, yeah. And, and I also know that pool is a mathematical game. So there has to be some something. Well, there's so much physics involved in the collision. That's why, like, like all right, if I'm hitting dead center English and everything's perfect as far as the speed I'm hitting or whatever you want to call it, I understand I could show somebody kind of where to hit the cue ball supposed to hit the object ball, but how can you really show them anything once you start putting side spin on the ball? I mean, it's like uh, yeah, it's a very intuitive game. Right, but, right. But the, the center to edge aiming is basically just to help you pocket the ball, center ball. Right. And then there are and, and with different speeds and distance. Mm-hmm. Um, the basic rule of thumb. Uh, no, I, his, I know the system. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, it? Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 I know it. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, um, and so I've been fooling with it for about 10 years. When I first saw an AZ, they were talking about center to edge aiming, and I've always been, in, it's like the holy grail for me. You know, I've always, done, every player I ever met, you mm -hmm. know, I asked them, how do you aim? And most of them said, you know, by feel or just, you know, hit a, hit a million balls. Right, and, uh, right, You know, right. and that type of thing. And a lot of them wouldn't tell you even if they used the system because right. that's not the way it was in the old days. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless somebody, like, took you, mentored you, took you under his wing. Right. Uh, you know, you didn't learn those things. Well, and I'll tell you one thing, Or it though. took you a lot longer. Yeah. and But I just, like, a, like for instance, when you miss a ball... I've rarely ever heard a good player say, oh, man, my aim was off. 
You know what I mean? Oh, no. No, no. I've always told them, heard from them, oh, I put a bad stroke on the ball, or I babied the ball, or I hit the ball in my purse. And all of those. It always involved the stroke more than the aim. So that's why I feel like after you play for a while. Very valid. Yeah, and once you play for a while, you You get very. feel. You get very confident on aiming. Okay, big shot here for Efren, going three rails to a gap on the, I think. Yeah, that's why I was saying. He struggled with a few shots when he needed a little power. So. Yeah. I mean, Billy's really leaped out of his chair. And at least this is a more of a routine shot. Yeah, uh, you know, not routine uh, shape, though. Uh, well, Ooh, he may have to play for the 3 7 combo. I yeah, think. I that, think he'll just come over to this yeah, side. Yeah, I think as great as he shoots, he keep it simple here and try and get a look at that combo. Right. Don't get hooked. You're not getting hooked that way. And you can, if you don't like it, you could probably play a pretty good safety behind it, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, like here, he could just play a simple safety. Oh, he's going to play the seven. Okay, so that means he's rolling his ball into the five with the cue ball, I'm assuming. Well, and the cue ball is going to have to tangle with the five and the ten. Yeah, but What's I don't it? think he can afford to hit this hard. The three will get away from there if he hits it hard. Yeah, I and think the he has cue to ball. Hit it. Yeah, he has to roll this, I think. Yeah. Huge shot here. Here's where you know that's the right shot. Just trust it. Just trust your aiming right. You should go into the 10, I think. Okay. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, and, nice and shot. Now he's in the clear. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he's, he's good. Yeah, pretty simple stuff here. Just right. make sure you get up on the four, not too thin. There you Don't go. Don't jack yourself up. See, this is what happens to you when you're behind. Just he little can go, stuff like yeah, this. You know? But he can go forward underneath the 10, so he's okay. Now, if he had to come above the 10, that would have been an issue. That's true. So, uh, yeah, he was fortunate. He's just got to pay spot. attention to these last five balls here. Remember that nine ball he got out of line on mm-hmm. kind of simply uh, a couple racks ago. Really trusting in the roll out of the table. I like that when a, when a player realizes they can trust that ball rolling into position. It's a big factor mm-hmm. rather than having to, like, some people... Flush it or spin r- it there. Or come or two rails into position. Right, right. You know, when, you tr- when you're trusting that roll out of the ball, that's huge. Mm-hmm. can make the game very simple sometimes. Yeah, and he's hitting it with firm, with just, a, you know, the stun with a little bit of spin. And it's yeah. just, just enough to throw it off the rail. He's, uh, he's you, playing good. Yeah, he's and he's like that Revo, I'll tell you that. He's been doing well with it. Yeah, the first time I saw one of those is uh, at the U.S. Open event last summer. And uh, he had just finished a match, and uh, I commented on it because I'd never seen one before. And he says, hey, oh, he says, yeah, it hits really good. Here, try, try it. I says, really? Yeah, try it. So, you know, and like I say, I... The guys in the old days used to let me play with their cues too, but you know I don't know this kid. Right. And uh, anyway, he so he was very generous, and uh, you know, I, and I hit him. I would have loved to have hit him a lot longer, but right. you know, after a few minutes, you know, I gave up. But it hit. I, I I liked it. It's very different from the old school shafts. Yeah. You know. Oh, I I've never been able to get used to low deflection, and me probably neither. haven't given it enough time, maybe. But I I, lo- I, lo- I love my cue, but. Um, a lot of guys are playing with it, that's for sure. What do you play with? Ooh. Now he's, I don't think he's going to make one here. Is the cue oh, ball no, got kissed in the hole? No. Ooh, where do you roll out here? <laughs> the one three's <laughs> dead. Even on a kick shot, it's dead. Yeah, and you can't roll forward because you've got to yeah. try to get past the five and the nine. And you got to roll out probably to the right side of the one somehow, but then you're going to be in like a world of hurt too because you can't let him see enough to where he can pin you. Right. So, I mean. And you don't want to put him. Where his shape is easier. You yeah, know, this is. Try to figure out where is. I don't know where to roll out here just yet. Well, he's trusting his roll, like you said. Let's see how accurate he's going to be. Yeah, but now he's going to be pinned underneath the seven at the very worst, or banked away, or and if it had gone any further, Efren would have kicked the one three in. Yeah. So this is, in Billy's defense, just a difficult situation. Oh, it was, he was, it was in. terrible. Yeah. yeah. It, it, Can't, I don't see Efren being able to return this, right? I mean, at bare minimum, you got to jack up and draw your ball behind the uh, 
five nine and just bank the one down here uh, on the other end of the table. I think at at the worst, that's all you can do. Yeah, he can't. Uh, there's no way he can kick at it, uh, kick it in. You know, kick the five in. What is that? The three, the three. He's trying to bank the one by up here by the ten and kill the ball behind the seven. Now it used to be this would be almost a hanger for Efren, but it's a little delicate because he's got to draw it with a little inside. So now he's going to play that other shot I was talking about, I think. Okay, he played it that way. No, look at this, look at this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good. And that's what I mean as far as where was oh. Billy going to roll out to. Wow. It's just wow. super and tough. And you called that too. Yeah. But how good did he hit that? Yeah, yeah. super good. And rough. hey, lucky not to be froze, really. <laughs> oh, it just. Okay, well, he's kicking two rails at the side, is that right? Two rails yeah, at the side. Yeah, I think so. I think and one anywhere rail. on the bottom of this one ball, uh, with the traffic the way it is, he could come way clean here. If he knocks the one down table, let the cue ball float back towards the seven, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, he caught a little thin, so he's going to need some help. Mm -hmm. some tough, well, he tough left spot. him jacked up. He's jacked up, and he's got a, issues getting from the four to the five. Five is tough. Yeah. Of course, first things first with this shot. Mm -hmm. And it seems like to me hitting down on the ball was has been the issue for Efren in a couple shots this match. Toppingless, he's been perfect. Down on the ball, he's had a little bit of a problem. No problem there, though. No. He actually came out pretty well. Yeah, he's perfect. He can just hold his ball. Now, uh, you're going to... Would you go into the 5-9 shooting the 3? Is that what you are about no, to say? No, I was going to say off the 3, will I, when I'm playing the 3, would I go play to go into that? Because if I what go I into him yeah. good, then I, I'll be there for the 4. And he may right here because he's so good if he catches anywhere in front of that five on the rail, he should come off the five out to the center of the table for the four. Or I don't hit, or think he'll do it. Or hit the nine full and get it, bump it up table towards. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, Efren's yeah. had a couple times chances here to get on the heel, so I don't yeah. know if he's going to take that chance. I think he may try and come down, play position on the four to come across the table and get behind the five. And don't and even if, fool with the balls at all. Well, I'm saying like... That's what Buddy would say to do. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy hated to go into balls unless well, he had Well, this to. is sitting about as good if you're going to take a chance. Right. But he wants to catch the second rail. He doesn't want to go in directly if he's going to go in. Oh, he missed it completely. He, oh, he, oh, was, he was playing shape. Yeah. But to play on or the four. maybe just edge the five. Just yeah. barely edge it. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's so good. At, he may have been playing that. And this is what I was talking about. Get behind the five. If you don't right. like it, lock him up. Lock him up. Yeah. He needs to get on the hill. He now was is up he seven to two. Or is he going to punch it off the rail? He's got a force. Yeah. Nice. nice yeah. Nice. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, Don't he got go too far. No, he got perfect. He got perfect, I think, to where he can try and run out now. Uh, yeah, maybe. It's close. Yeah. Like you, I'm, I'm sitting here leaning, looking at the screen, yeah. like I'm sitting and watching them. I do it all the time. <laughs> Catch myself doing this. 2D stays 2D no matter what. Right. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I think yeah. he's doing what you said, just pop it out. No, he's locking him up. Yeah, and that's that I think being up he was up seven to two and had two opportunities to get on the hill. Yeah. So he really is wanting to get on the hill so he doesn't take that chance right there. Yeah. I think that's pretty smart. I mean yeah, and he might not have even been able to make it, and that was his plan all along. Maybe so, yeah. yeah. And, you know, there's a little more value playing call shot because now a player has to call the kick shot. Right. They can't, can't just fluke something you. in, which right. I've kind of like the old rules better than the call shot myself. But just because safety is so easy. Yeah. Like, I could have taken anybody off the street. Now, they might not have <laughs> hit it as good as Efren, right. but I could have gotten them to bump the five by the nine with no problem, you know. Right. So. Yeah. And it puts, like I said, it puts more value oh. on the safety, which in turn I think makes the great players play safe a little more often. And I like them see them making great shots myself. So. Me too. Yeah. Me too. That's because we're old school. <laughs> yeah, and they still no. do. I mean, yeah. you know, for the most part, the, the better echelon, the upper echelon players are still looking they, to be aggressive right. and make the great right. shots. So. Yeah. Okay, so. I wouldn't say totally routine anytime the nine's on the other end on the side rail and you'll notice the ten's not just over the pocket. So he's gonna have to pay attention here. Looks like he got straight on the seven and Well, that's okay. He can stop he there and play short side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And or not, he's, he's going to follow it, I think. Well, he plans, like, he plans on getting behind. Oh, that's oh. a little weak. That's not going to be what he wanted. Now no. he's going to have to. He wanted to play short side on the nine anyways, but now he's really going to have to play short side, I think. <laughs> and it's going to be tough to get there. Rails. Three rails. To a blind pocket on the eight, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. He'll just float it, though, watch. Yeah. That's the beautiful. Oh. Oh, man. Is he going to get there? Because he did hit a little thick. He, I, think he's, I think the roll's got. It's those last few inches. It looks like it's going to stop and then it just rolls. I think he's got to cut the nine, though. Uh, if he tries to pull this, yeah, so he could he catch, the, catch point. the point. Yeah, he might catch the point, right? How many times have I done that? Too? Oh, me too. <laughs> okay, he, oh, he, he put a nice stroke on yeah. it there, yeah. yeah It's crooked laying there in the middle of the table. It's been moved ten times. Oof. Oh boy. A little heavy on that ten as well. <laughs> yeah. But nevertheless, put him up. Uh, yeah. He's, he want he wants to play well in this tournament. Oh, I haven't absolutely. seen him. I haven't seen that look on his face in a long time. Yeah. He's a. Uh, well, he knows he's he got his. He wants to go out with a bang. He's got his name attached to this thing as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. He wants to. If he doesn't get in the finals, uh, he, he he wants to go deep. Oh yeah. You know, he, he, uh, and the way the tables are playing, I like his chances. Uh, is, he looks like he's got his break working pretty well. Oh boy! Well, he made the one. He's got a nice shot on the two with the three over the pocket. The four is dressing up over the pocket. So basically this shot here and getting clear with the cue ball, Mary. Yeah. I agree. He's right in between slow rolling it and having to go back and forth a couple. Cause, How would you? How would you hit it? Uh, it's just a straight high ball. It looks like to me he's got to try and get to the left side of this table. Oh, he okay. hit it pretty firm. Okay, he's, he's going to he, play for the for the pocket. And that's a great the, shot for because the between the seven and the, look at this. Did I didn't know if, I didn't know he could beat going by the six coming off that rail and go right. two rails behind, you know, yeah. on the backside of the table. So, boy, did he uh, he got lucky. He could see that. He almost hooked himself. Yeah. Behind the ten. Oh, he'll just come straight at the five right here. Ooh, that's a little short. That's not okay. You that's can a just problem, slide it over because the six will shoot the six in the yeah, side, I think. Yeah, the six is real accessible. So. Yeah. You doesn't really have to do much. Yeah. So I say, don't oh, worry, land on the 50-yard line again. <laughs> yeah, but this is what I'm but talking about as far, nice as, as far as paying attention, though. Right. You know what I mean? Like, if he falls a hair to the wrong side here, uh, now he's gotten like straight, he's, so he's going to be okay. Yeah. But if he goes right now, now it's it became tough. It's, it, yeah, it, it comes tricky. Yeah. And he still is having to hit it with a little bit of throw. He's got to draw all the way back. Yeah. Or Okay, That's nice good. shot. But, I mean, as far as, like. Yeah, it made the shot tough. Yeah, and the bar table looking, you know, the bar table gets you to where you're not looking as much right. at your work. And the yeah. uh, big table really reminds me, hey, i got to pay attention here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a big equalizer, the mm -hmm. bar table. You see that? See what? Yeah, the rack <laughs> the hopped rack a little. Hopped. <laughs> These no. guys don't care. No. <laughs> I think if you've got a cut on it now, he would have moved it yeah. because coming across the ball. But a real full hit. It shouldn't affect it at all. Yeah, or even just as he must be so focused he didn't even notice it, you know. So what's uh, this? I didn't mean, try five, and keep five track. to five with Dennis and and, uh, and Tyler. And Tyler. Wow. It's, uh, it's Tyler's break. Four to three, Roberto over Tommy Tolko. Or here, Efren Ray is leading eight to five. It Down is a hill, race to finally. nine, yeah. And then uh, I believe Justin Bergman's up five to four over Ronnie. I believe. No, Efren realizing uh, he only gets two more breaks here as far as if it goes to the extent, the full extent, the match, 9-8. Uh, so he's wanting to capitalize right here. He knows Billy uh, has a more successful break more often than non not successful. Mm. Ooh. Boy, All right, now what's the one? Is it going to get a big enough bounce? Oh, boy. And the five. It's always the last one's rolling. <laughs> 
I don't think he can do anything here but just maybe roll him on top of the five. I mean, he could cut the one into the five and let the cue ball come back down the left side of the table and use the eight and the two. Right. Uh, it's a pretty pretty easy shot. Yeah, that might be. That's what I think I would try to do. Yeah, it's a pretty easy shot overall. But if you roll the one up and just put him on the five, well, you leave him a, a makeable kick maybe, meaning the one's right. going to be near that low rail and, yeah. and it becomes very makeable. So I think, like Mary said, he's just going to edge the one into the five, come down the left side of the table. And he needs to hit it, though. That's that's a big mistake, not hitting that. Oh, boy, he's lucky he didn't hit that point. Okay, he, I know close. that, too, but he did get the hook. I'm looking straight down it. Yeah. Oh, he's going to curve his ball? Eesh. Wow. He's, this is a touchy shot here. You know, I don't think he can go level at this ball. I think he's got to curve it. Well, maybe he's just... Oh, uh, wow. And he's just calling the pocket just in yeah, case. Yeah, to overcut you know? it maybe. Yeah. Run the cue ball back behind here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was just, uh, uh, it's no good. And that type of shot, I think Mary had the exact thing in mind. The only thing Billy needs to learn on that is commit one way or another, meaning, right. It, all right. Right, exactly. I'm calling at the speed to try and make it. Right. The shot is Or don't make cut it as much. Yeah, right. or something. Right, yeah. well, the cut is all you have. too much. Yeah. yeah. Just go ahead and hit it hard enough to get the one back across. Right. He's going into him. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, Efren can't, oh, he Efren, was coming around the yeah, three rails. Yeah, a bunch of rails. Four rails. Efren can't sit still right here on the hill. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> okay, so in a tough spot here again. He ball looks dead froze on the rail. Yeah. I'm really kind of shocked he was going four rails around. There. I mean... Nothing, yeah. nothing shocks me with Efren, and usually his execution on stuff like that is pretty amazing. Wouldn't you like to be able to like listen to what he's thinking? In our luck, we'd be in Filipino, so we wouldn't be able to understand it anyway. Say that again? As if we could listen to what he's thinking, but oh, it would yeah. probably be in Filipino anyway. So we wouldn't be able to understand Great what shot talking there. About. Great shot there on the 2-8. And now just got to pay attention. He's got an open run. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about the 4 is you don't have to get close to it. You want to be above it a little bit to where you just get a nice angle to come across. So he'll just come straight across above the 7 here. Uh, hitting before the side pocket. Key here is... Get that, get that bounce off the second rail here. Uh, you want to have an angle on the four. You don't want to be like dead straight. Oh, again, he hit it a little uh -oh. heavy. All and right, so now, okay. that's what I'm saying, though. Now he's got to let his stroke out draw on his ball. He would much right. rather be above this a yeah. little bit more. Yeah. Like, yeah, there, like there. Where, <laughs> exactly, where he can just <laughs> run his ball. Yeah. Let it just, yeah. It's natural. Yeah. And anytime you're more full on the ball, you got to hit it harder to make it again. move. Here he is He's standing on one leg, and, you know, everything's tricky. Well, you hit that good. Bounce, yeah. get off the rail. These guys do so well, and, and I know you do so well. You know, just coming in with, with the best, you know, the proper speed. And oh, yeah. Well, and angles. The optimum angle, yeah. Once you get confident and you're not worried about an angle, an angle really being uh, Did you see uh, him lift <laughs> up when it was getting ready to roll over that rack he and he got on the 50 here again oh boy and he sure uh, did yeah then cutting the side or in the corner or a bank yeah or a bank what'd you do i'm cutting, cutting it and i'm usually it. almost too. always me cutting too. the ball but yeah yeah oh nice shot oh, boy he hit that good this has not been an easy rack. No, not at all. And then again, here you gotta yeah. make sure you don't scratch in the side. You gotta make sure you come off the second rail. Yeah, he's moving the rack, see? <laughs> oh, you can feel the finish line, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Kind of jacked up. Well, you gotta pay attention to it. Now we're playing tough. off. Yeah. Not, oh, he hit that good. Not easy diamonds. Uh oh, we're 50 playing yard off. line again. No, he's good. He's, well, a little bit past it, but still. Boy. No, I may have to pull this. I don't know. No, he, he's going to overcut it a little bit with a little inside. Play it to the left side of the pocket. Okay. 
Very nice. And Efren Reyes moves on in the winner's <laughs> side. <laughs> Billy Thorpe will be back uh, on the loser side. He's not out he of it. He wants to go out with a bang, Efren yeah. does. He's playing great. Well, I enjoyed it, Mary. I enjoyed it, too. I'm sorry. And uh, get practicing for my match. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. This is Jeremy Jones with American Innocent and Pool Action TV. Goodbye, everybody. We'll be Thank back you. here shortly.